Hey guys, this is Ben, Pro Se Coach here in Texas. Uh, I'm coming to you from the world headquarters known as my house. Um, I wanted to talk really quick about probably the very first thing that, that anybody thinks of when they think of court or divorce or family law or anything and, and you have either a divorce coming or a modification or whatever it is and everybody that you know, including yourself, says, well, go get the, you know, the biggest bulldog attorney that you can. And that's good advice. Um, if you're sitting on mountains of cash, it will make your life much easier. You'll have someone to do all the legwork for you. Um, you know, they'll, they'll help your case through and you can cut giant checks to them month over month to help you out. But here's the problem. They don't care about you. They don't care about your kids. They don't even really know their names. They don't care about your ex. They don't care about anything. They care about providing the service to you so long as you can continue paying them. And I'm not even really faulting them because they run a business. And as soon as they're done dealing with you and your problem, uh, for you and your children, they hang up the phone, switch gears in their heads, and they start worrying about the next family. There's no connection there. And they'll keep fighting for you so long as you keep paying them, which is the way they have to run that business. So I understand. But if you choose to go pro se, you take control of your entire situation. Nobody's going to care about your kids. Not your lawyer, not your ex's lawyer, not the judge, not the amicus, not the guardian ad litem, not the therapist, not the psychologist. These are all the characters that come into your life and you get to pay all of them. None of them actually care. I know that there are probably good people in the system that want to do good things, but none of them will care so much as you do. So if you choose to go pro se, the first thing you have to get over is your fear because you're scared. You've watched a lot of TV. You've seen what court looks like. It's all very scary. Judges are mean. Lawyers are going to, you know, pull some sort of legal trick and object to things and you're going to get caught and you're going to get hurt. And some of that can be true that there are tricks and there are ways that things happen. But once you get through one or two times of being in court, you'll find that it's not nearly as terrifying as you think it is, that it's more conversational than you might imagine. But you know, you gotta suck it up. If you can go pro se, you know, each hearing that you go to, you know, with your lawyer, I'm gonna guess is probably anywhere between $2,500 and $5,000. So you go in and you get spanked or you get four out of the 10 things that you were asking for and you're super frustrated and you say it's not right and my kids are in danger or this is not good for them and your lawyer goes, I absolutely agree, let's fight for that. I need another $4,000. So again, back to my first statement, you got the cash, keep cutting the checks. They'll keep fighting for you. But most of us don't have that luxury. And so because we care for our children and we care for what their safety and we care for the best situation and for the best, you know, shake out from whatever it is that you're going through, you can't do that. And so pro se becomes a real option because once you can, you know, either do your own research, you team up with someone like me or, you know, establish your support group of people that can help you research and learn this process. All of a sudden you can start going, you know what, I don't like how that hearing went today, so I'm going to respond with XYZ motion and I'm gonna set a hearing and I've got some good case law and an argument here that makes good sense for me and I'm gonna push through. And then if I get not so far there or it doesn't go exactly the way that I want, then here's where I'm gonna respond there. And I'm gonna keep pushing this ball until I get to a position where I feel like the most important parts of this are safe. I always ask people when we start, what do you want? What is the end game? You know, some people are, well, I just want kids and all the money and all this. And, you know, that's really hard to accomplish. But I like it when people sit down and they go, you know what, man, I just want a 50-50 shakeout of everything. And so when you start fighting for what's right in your head, the fight, you, you, you're pushing toward a goal that's valiant and you know it's the right thing to do. You're not fighting for the sake of fighting. You're not you know, doing things out of vindictiveness, which can happen a lot in this game, but you're fighting for what you know to be right. Who's more important to all of us than our kids? And you know, the younger they are, it's even harder because God, you wanna protect them so much. And so you do so. So, you know, when you get into this game, define it what it is that you want. Establish a plan, calendar it. On this date, I'm gonna 
push this issue on this date. I'm going to push this issue. I'm going to schedule a hearing. There's my hearing date. Then, you know, following that one, I'm going to file another thing. Do your homework. Try not to stress despite how stressful it all is. Sleep, take care of yourself, stay calm. Use the people around you to help you maintain perspective. It's very easy for your eyes to roll back in your head when you get threatened or when you get emails that upset you. Find people around you that can you can lean on a little bit and work through it. But if you'll stay calm and understand this is not a quick journey. I, you know, I know you can file and be divorced in 60 days. The odds of that happening are nil. So it's a long journey. And even if you get spanked on the front side, you can still remedy this by pushing through and doing again what you know to be right. So, you know, the pro se option is harder than, you know, just hiring big fat cat lawyer to do your work. But it, it oftentimes for most people, it's the only financially feasible way to go through this system to a point of actual fairness and conclusion. We all know the friend who got raked over the coals and divorced and practically lives in their car and never sees their kids. And it's because 90% of the time it's because they gave up. And that's a sad position to be in because the only reason that you give up for most of the time is because you can't afford to fight anymore. So, you know, going pro se, while it might scare people on the, on, you know, at the first idea of that, when they, they'll calm down, talk to me, talk to your friends, read online, ask in all the forums and Facebook groups and every other thing for advice. You'll see that there's a lot of people out there doing the same work you are that can share information and help you get through this. Prepare yourself for hearings. Be smart. Do not get arrogant and say, I got this. My argument is so good. Because, you know, you will be up against a very expensive lawyer who knows the, the law very, very well. But if you can prepare and work smart and keep that end game in mind of what do I want? What's the right thing in this situation? You're going to get way closer to that being pro se than you are spending yourself into bankruptcy. Reach out to me if you'd like to talk, got questions, ideas, whatever. I'm just here to visit. Uh, it's prosecoachtx.com. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much.